Howard Pinchin. Pleasure. You really think he's necessary? Your client committed a serious crime. Well, even in China, they require a little evidence of guilt. He lied to the police about Miss Kwan's lawsuit and his alibi. And Moses lied to his people when he said we're almost there. You can do better than that, Mr. Pinchin. I'm just saying that sometimes there's a very good reason to stretch the truth. I lie about the lawsuit because I knew it would make me look like I had motive to kill Miss Guan. Guess what, Mr. Chen, it does. And the alibi? I was at the consulate. You know, in China, these people would be in prison because they are criminals. Because they happen to believe in something you don't. Because they sabotage an entire communication system taken over a satellite in China because they brainwash innocents into cutting their bellies open looking for following the wheel of law. The bottom line, Mr. McCoy, the girl's lawsuit was at best frivolous and at worst unconstitutional. It's like suing you in Sicily for convicting John Gotti here. Either way, I don't think Mr. Chen or his friends back home would want the world looking their way. I'm sure you're aware that I could go into court tomorrow and argue that this whole thing should be dismissed because Mr. Chen's diplomatic status renders him immune to prosecution. Only for acts that fall within the scope of his official duties. I don't think murder counts. Well, I said I could go into court and argue the motion. I didn't say I would win. But you'd keep us busy drafting a brief. And after that, you could respond to my motion to change venue to federal court. Of course, we'd be willing to save the cost and hassle of going to trial by discussing a plea. For what? Mr. Chen didn't kill that girl. You know, Mr. Chen, I've been thinking of traveling to China. I'm very happy for you, Mr. Of course, I'd go to Beijing, but I'd want to see more. Would your hometown be of any interest? Well, Tianjin is a beautiful city. But would an American appreciate its beauty? Oh, Mr. Pinchum thought so. Stop. You visited Tianjin, did you? That has no bearing on this case. On the contrary, if we go to trial, I could call you as a witness to testify about the detention camps or lack thereof, whatever the case may be. That puts you, no, that puts your entire firm in a precarious legal position. Serena, why don't you start drafting a brief to have Mr. Pincham's law firm disqualified? This is ridiculous. Perhaps. But look at all those fees your firm will lose if a judge agrees with me. The fee comes first. It's the motto of every Wall Street litigator. What are the odds that Pincham will recuse the firm from this case? What are the odds that an elf will pop out of my desk and spit cider in my ear? At Pennington, the only thing worse than losing a case is losing a client, especially one with seven zeros in the year-end bill. So I wasted my breath. No. Right about now, I figure that Pincham and 12 of his partners are squeezed into a visiting room at Rikers trying to convince Mr. Chen to cut a deal. Let's hope he listens. You know, Arthur, some people might interpret what you told me and as... they would be wrong. Get your refill? Howard, I didn't think they let Harvard men in here unescorted. I'm meeting O'Keefe for dinner. You see this? Second Circuit reverse Barsky. I could have you disbarred for this, Arthur. We're having a drink. You told McCoy I visited Tianjin. Just because you left the firm doesn't mean you can disclose confidential information about my dealings with clients. If you recall, I skipped your home movies of that trip. Splitting hairs doesn't become you, Arthur. We'll just have to see what the ethics committee thinks. Unless, of course... Are you trying to extort a deal out of me, Howard? A proposal, that's all. Suppose I turn my back on this bar association thing and you agree to send Mr. Chen back to China. So he can be tried for murder by his own people? Exactly. By a culture that understands him. Sounds good. Yeah, I knew you'd be reasonable. Reasonable, but not stupid. Back home, Chen might receive the Medal of Honor for murdering Helen Kwan. You love this, don't you? Squeezing me into a corner? Just doing my job. Only Chen didn't kill that girl, and you don't have any evidence to prove he did. And he doesn't have an alibi. We know he wasn't feeling particularly frisky that night. If you're talking about the call girls, that's not Chen's thing. What is? A dry vodka martini from the Beekman Hotel around the corner. 
The bartender at the Beekman showed me Chen's credit card receipts for three drinks. That would be a pretty good alibi. Then why didn't he just tell us that in the first place? Who knows, maybe he thought it would somehow lead back to the call girls, which might embarrass his important business friends. Yeah, but we already knew about the call girls, Jack. Why would he risk going to jail for that? Maybe he believes the American justice system actually works. Chen knows he didn't kill Helen Kwan, so what's one little lie to protect friends? Yeah, there's a lot of that going around in this case. The driver. That's what I'm referring to. He told Briscoe and Green that he waited for Chen outside the call girl's apartment, but if that were true, he would have seen Chen leave. As I was saying. Then he wouldn't have told us about the call girls in the first place. He would have said Chen had a drink at the hotel. He didn't know Chen wasn't where he was supposed to be. Do you think he's covering for himself? I'm gonna talk to him. Not yet. I know. As soon as they sold to them people. You mean Mr. Chen? Damn communists. Next thing Osamo set up shop. What's happening to this country? Put a fence around the island is what I say. Yeah, I hear ya. Um, I gotta ask you a question or two about the night that girl was killed. I already told the cops. I didn't see no strangers enter the building. I know, but what I'd really like to know is if you saw his assistant here that night. You mean Schwarzenegger? Excuse me? It's always, I'll be back. Like, Otto wouldn't crush him like a bug. And that night? Yeah, he was here. Maybe an hour, maybe a little more. Then he went out to get the boss with another, I'll be back. We want to talk to you about your boss. Mr. Chen is a great man. For a murderer. He no kill lady. Maybe not with his own hands. But in this country, if he told you to do it, it's just the same as if he did it himself. He not tell me. No, I not kill. But you were the only one in Mr. Chen's apartment that night. Uh, no, I wait outside girls. It's time to stop lying, Mr. Yuan. Mr. Chen busy for hours. So you went to his apartment? Mr. Chen have satellite TV. Why she want to send Mr. Chen home? Why she want judge to send him home? I tell her, be nice to Mr. Chen. I beg her not to have judge send him home. But she refused. She says she wants to talk to him right now. I say, no, Chen not home. The lady bang on the door and scream at me. Is it, where is Chen? Where is Chen? That must have made you angry. Chen, good man, he not kill people. So you killed her so that she would leave Mr. Chen alone. She not believe Chen, good man. She say, judge send him home. And I don't want to go home. And if Chen was sued successfully, he'd be forced to return to China and you'd have to go back with him. And you'd do anything not to have to be sent back. America, have free.